Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about the topic A Girl Named Jack by Jacqueline Woodson. Come, let us move on to the video. This is the picture of Jacqueline Woodson. Jacqueline Woodson was born on February 12, 1963. She is an American writer and she mainly concentrated in writing books for children and adolescents. Jacqueline Woodson uh, has written many works and her best known works are Miracle Boys, Newbury Honor, which has won the title of Brown Girl Dreaming, After Tupaca, De Forest, Feathers, Show Way. So, these six are her best well-known works in the career of Jacqueline Woodson. This particular poetry, A Girl Named Jack, is an autobiographical work written by Jacqueline Woodson. This particular poetry consists of totally five stanza. It deals with the concept of naming a girl child. At first, the father is deciding a name for the girl and finally, mother is not satisfied with the name and she gives the baby name. Let us see what is the name that is given by mother for the baby. Let us move on to the poetry. Stanza 1 Good enough name for me, my father said. That day I was born. Don't see why she can't have it too. Good enough name for me, my father said, the day I was born. Don't see why she can't have it too. In this particular stanza, the author is explaining us that the author, author's father has given her a beautiful name on the day that she was born and father was really very much satisfied with the particular name that he has given for the baby. Here in this particular stanza, I is referred to the author Jacqueline Woodson. Don't say why she can have it too. In this lines, the author is trying to say the mood of the father that the father is really happy with the name what he has uh, decided to keep for the newborn girl child. So, this is what is the author talking in the first four lines. Now, we are moving on to the second stanza, the first four lines. But the woman said, no, my mother first, then each and pulling my pink blanket back, patting the crop of these curls. But the woman said, no, my mother first. Then each ant pulling my pink blanket back, patting the crop of thick curls. In this four lines, the author Jacqueline Woodson is telling us that her father has already decided a name for her on the day of her birth. But the women around her are said no. And first it was said by mother then each ant pulling the pink blanket of the baby they are trying to see the baby and patting the crop of thick curls which means that uh, they are having a patting means uh, gentle with the flat on the hand to touch quickly and gentle with the flat of the hand so this is the meaning of the patting so you know uh, as soon as a new baby is born, um, all the relatives would come and watch them and this kind of situation will usually happen around the newborn baby. So here also the author is telling in this four lines that the author ha author's father has already decided a name for her and actually uh, the women around uh, her are not satisfied with the name, especially the mother. Then each auntie started pulling the blanket and they started gently touching with all the uh, thick curls around uh, about in the newborn baby. 
This is the continuation of the second stanza, the next four lines. Tucking at my new toes, touching my cheeks, we won't have a girl named Jack, my mother said. Tucking at my new toes, touching my cheeks, we won't have a girl named Jack, my mother said. In these four lines, my is referred to the author Jacqueline Woodson. So she is telling the meaning of the word tucking means the action of attacking a label to someone or something. The meaning of the word tucking means the action of attacking a label to someone or something. At my new toes. So all the ants in the before four lines we saw that the ants they are touching uh, the cheeks, uh, they are touching their toes, uh, and uh, they are just admiring the beauty of the newborn baby. So next suddenly uh, the mother of uh, Jacqueline Woodson is telling us that we won't have a girl named Jack. My mother said. So in this line, we could really understand the father had decided to keep the name for the girl as Jack. So this line helps us in understanding that the father has decided to keep the name for the girl as Jack and mother is not at all satisfied in having the name as Jack. In the third stanza, and my father's sisters whispered, a boy named Jack was bad enough. But only so my mother could hear, name a girl Jack, my father said. And my ma father's sisters whispered, a boy named Jack was bad enough. But only so my mother could hear, name a girl Jack, my father said. In these four lines, we could understand that uh, the father's sisters whispered the first line. So here, as soon as the name has been revealed as Jack, uh, the sisters started whispering. Whispered. Whispered means speaking very softly using one's breath rather than one's throat. So whispered meaning, the meaning of the word whispered means speaking very softly using one's breath rather than one's throat. The next line, a boy named Jack was bad enough. So here in this particular line, the author refers as that a boy who was named as a Jack was a bad one. And that, so if you are going to have another name again as a Jack, it will, they are comparing with the bad one. So we don't want to have a Jack name. So already we have a boy who is having a name as Jack and he is bad enough and we don't want to have again a name for a girl as a Jack. Uh, this, this was the answer said by the sisters or the aunt, aunts of uh, Jacqueline Woodson. But only so my mother could hear. So this was the session that the uh, Jacqueline Woodson aunties were whispering and this was heard by the mother. Name a girl Jack, my father said. So father was very very strong enough that he need to have the girl, the newborn baby girl as name as Jack. The next six lines we have here. And she can't help but grow up strong. Rise her right, my father said. And she will make that name her own. Name a girl Jack and people will look at her twice, my father said. And she ca cannot help but grow up strong. Rise her right, my father said. And she will make that name her own. Name a girl, Jack. And people will look at her twice, my father said. In the six lines, the first two lines, and she can't help but grow up strong. So these two lines, the father is telling that, we should strong, grow the girl very stronger. The newborn girl, it's a girl baby, you know it already. So we need to grow the girl stronger. Rise her right, grow her in a right path, 
my father said so my here is refer to jacqueline woodson so jacqueline woodson father is telling that we have to grow the girl in a right way and strong way and if this is going to happen in the next line we have the explanation and she will make that name her own so she will uh, do very splendid things to keep her name as her own so why uh, the father is telling so is because in the previous stanza we saw that if the girl uh, already we have a boy named jack who is bad enough and if we are going to have a name again jack for a girl it will not be good that was the opinion that was given by the aunties and mother but father is very strong that we have to grow the newborn baby in a very strong manner and uh, no uh, strong manner and ir uh, rise up her in right path and she will make her name of her own so she will have her own identity Uh, name a girl jack and people look at her twice my father said so at even uh, the father was very strong that he need to have uh, the name as a jack and uh, by that name uh, she will prove herself so this was the thought that was uh, by, that was the idea of the father that he need to really give name as jack for the newborn baby the next four lines of the third stanza for no good reason but to ask if my if her parents were crazy my mother said and back and forth it went until i was jacky and my father left the hospital mad for no good reason but to ask if parents were crazy my mother said and back and forth it went until i was jacky and my father left the hospital mad in the first two lines for no good reason but to ask if her parents were crazy my mother said so the father is very uh, strong that he need to have name jack for the girl baby if you are going to have such a name they used to ask where the parents were very crazy this was the thought of the mother and back and forth it went until i was jacky and my father left the hospital so what happened that jack has turned to jacky when it has been turned as jacky the father become really mad enough and he left off the of the hospital why he, the man means he was really not happy in keeping any other name than jack for the girl now we are going to see the fourth stanza my mother said to my aunts hand me that pen rot jacqueline where it asked for a name jacqueline just in case someone thought to drop that the daughters my mother said to my aunts hand me that pen rot jacqueline where it asked for a name jacqueline just in case someone thought to drop that the that is so in the stanza the mother uh, said to the auntie to hand over the pen and she wrote the name from jack to jacqueline and that is the name she has given for her newborn baby so this stanza makes us a clear idea that the name from jack has been changed to jacqueline by the mother the last and the fifth stanza jacqueline just in case i grew up and want something a little bit longer and further away from jack jacqueline just in case i grew up and want something a little bit longer and further away from jack so this is the final stanza and this stanza the author is telling that the author jacqueline is telling that she has to grow up bit longer and further away from jack so in uh, before we have discussed a boy named jack was bad enough so here the author jacqueline reminds us that she has to uh, change 
the bad name or the bad opinion regarding the name jack so this is about uh, the uh, fifth stanza so i would like to just give the brief summary regarding this particular poetry so this particular poetry a newborn baby has been born and the father is actually deciding to keep a name for the newborn baby the name that is suggested by the father uh, the mother is not at all happy and the ladies around the baby like aunties were also not at all happy the name of the girl is none other than jack when the father said the name for the girl as a jack all the ladies or all the aunties whispered that a boy named jack was bad enough which means that a boy who was uh, having a name as jack he was very bad and if you are going to have this particular name for a girl also what would be when father said uh, ma- to the to everyone that the girl has to be named as jack mother was not at all happy finally she decided to change the name and she wrote she has changed from jack to jacqueline so in the final stanza our author says that she has been named as jacqueline as she grow up longer she has to anyhow change the name of jack the bad opinion and for the name jack so this is all about the work a girl named jack and if you really like this video and if you feel this video is really useful please subscribe the channel thank you